to all and welcome to the live stream, everybody! It's time to start a new game, a new series, cash in on what I have purchased during the Steam Summer Sale. We are going to be jumping into the Stanley Parable today, and only but a goodie. I know the basic premise, the, the standard mechanic of the game, if you will. Uh, for those of you guys that do know the game, you will know what I'm talking about, but there are multiple endings, there are multiple routes, there are so many experiences to be had in this game that the moment that I saw the first video on it, I don't know, like three years ago or something like that, I decided, nope, not watching anymore. I'm going to play this one for myself someday, and today, ladies and gentlemen, is that day. So uh, let me just uh, I think I'm just going to jump right up into the game and uh, then I'll wait for confirmation that you guys can see it because I've never played it before. I'm going to put the volume at 100 because there's in-game volume control, which I always like as a streamer. Uh, and then we can kind of go from there as to whether the volume is too loud or too quiet because uh, this game depends on narration. So hopefully you guys are reading me loud and clear here on the home screen of the Stanley Parable. I, what I love is just like how everything is is mirrored. I, I don't know, you guys get what I'm talking about, but yeah, it's just, I'll, I'm so excited to play this game. So excited to play this game. Alrighty, let's see here. Who is here today? We have got Mackie, Deadly Watermelon, and KNOW1TV first through the gate. Welcome to live stream, you guys. Paul, welcome to the live stream. SFR, welcome to live stream as well. What Muppet? Welcome to the live stream. You're never late, buddy. You're never late. Mary, welcome to live stream as well. Let me see here. Manly, it's good to see you, my friend. I hope that you are doing well today. And Daniel, welcome to the live stream, you guys. Good to see everybody here. Uh, this game, like I said, is an oldie, but a goodie. For those of you that missed my tweet, um, GTA 4 for $6. Oh my god, I missed that sale, Muppet. I think I ignored everything GTA after the whole open IV crap. But, um, I, uh, yeah, yeah, I know that that's all resolved now. So hopefully I should be able to bring LSPDFR and stuff like that back to the channel soon. I need to go through and troubleshoot what the hell was going on with it the last time that I played it. Because for those of you that were there during that stream, it basically crashed twice. And then it crashed the stream as a whole. So it was kind of a, kind of a pain in the ass. But anyway, um, I, uh, I, I posted this up on Discord. I didn't say it in Twitter because I couldn't fit it into the character limit. Um, today's stream is going to be a little bit shorter. It's only going to be a little bit longer than an hour, maybe about an hour 15 at most. Uh, I'm going to go over to Twitch after that, and then later tonight you can catch me around uh, 9 p.m. guaranteed Pacific Standard Time, somewhere around that time. Uh, I'll be doing a patrol, uh, hopefully with Alex. I'll be on DOJ, so uh, you guys can expect to see that. Um, but uh, is that a game inside a game inside a game? <laughs> well, Muppet, are you talking about the ATS thing? Oh, man. Uh, also stream. Yeah, thank you for the link, KNOW1TV. I appreciate that. Alrighty, guys. Let's go ahead and uh, begin the game. And, and we'll see what the uh, we'll see what, what the audio is like once we actually jump in. Ah, uh, the end is never. The end is never. The end is loading. <laughs> Space never. Oh, I'm so excited. I only saw one episode of this. What's up, Christopher? Welcome to live stream. How you doing today, man? How are you doing today? Can't wait. Can't wait for the game to start or can't wait for DOJ? I can't wait for either of them. Uh, I'm going to be playing some Overwatch and some Islands of Nine today on Twitch, you guys. You can go check me out on there. Actually, I need to double check if the NDA is still lifted on Islands of Nine. And if it is, then I will be playing that today. Because today is the... Um, uh, this is the story of a man named Stanley. Hi, Stanley. Um, sh Stanley should I turn it up? A company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427, and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. What's up, Delta? Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push. Oh, yeah, you don't need to worry about that, KNOW1TV. Delta's awesome. He's not going to give any spoilers, man. This is did every day of every What's up, Ebenezer? Of every and although others might have I want it to be a little louder, so I think I will crank it just Stanley a little bit. Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. Ebenezer, you can rewind like a minute and you will have seen all the and game content. Day, something very I just jumped in. Happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. What was that? He had been at his desk for nearly an hour. Ah, oh, sitting's not good, man. One single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions. I'll turn it up after the intro. Or even say, hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. 
this complete isolation. Here it is. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But and as then? he came to his wits and regained his senses, oh. he got up from his desk and oh. stepped out of his office. Oh! I can move! No, I'm kidding. Okay, all right. Let me turn this up. Let me turn this up. Options, audio. I think I, yeah, I did. I did reduce it a little bit. We can keep the music quiet, but I want the dialogue to be louder. So guys, let me know if that's a little bit better. Uh, I also have a little bit of headroom in another mixer, but I'll just need to click off the screen to do that. So uh, let me see here. I think everything else should be okay. Yeah, okay. That's good. That's good. Turn to the game. Zoom the game. Okay. Move in. Here we go. We are Stanley. This is our parable. Things are weird in here. And moving is like, oh my god, it's like I'm playing an underwater level in Mario. Holy crap, man. All okay. of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I kind of want to turn it up a little bit more. Hang on. Let me let me just let me just crank this, you guys, because it's it's dependent on the narrator. Like it's dependent on the narrator and I having having a little bit of back and forth. So let me just make sure that uh, that it's as loud as can possibly be. Okay, we are back in. Hopefully that didn't screw with you guys too much. No I don't like how hard Stanley looked. He couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. I can't find anybody. That's me as Stanley. You guys get what I'm doing there? It's called roleplay. Landon, welcome to live stream. Skilltra, welcome to the live stream as well. How are you guys doing today? Um. Co-workers, I need something to borrow. Calculator, maybe coffee? Is there anybody's sandwich here that I can steal? Is that what they do in offices? I don't know. I've never worked in an office. I've had a few nine to fives. Uh, don't get me wrong. I've had my fair share of a few. Two open doors. Uh -huh. He entered the door on his left. Oh. So, um, let's just pause for a second there. This is why the game is very important. It's very important that you can hear the moderator and or the narrator and every everything is is turned up loud right now He said you went through the door on the left So naturally I'm gonna turn to the chat here and I'm gonna try to see would you guys prefer? I go through the door on the left like the narrator said Well, what if we move go through the door on the right? I, mean, I don't know. There's the right door over there. We could do that, too. So let me know. Andrew, welcome to the live stream. How are you doing today? Right. Delta says right. Watermelon says right. Right. Right is the right way. All righty. We're going right. Sorry, narrator. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley <laughs> knew it perfectly well. <laughs> Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first just to admire it. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is the mechanic of this this kind of game. I, w I want you to... I want you to imagine like a telltale game or a goosebumps choose your own ending kind of thing um, where you, you do have that freedom of choice and the story will tailor to you. So whenever we get to some of those pivotal parts and stuff like that, there is a bit of a time delay. But if I feel like I can involve you guys, I'm going to do it. Everybody went with right on that. Kendra, welcome to the live stream as well. I don't think I missed anybody else. Um, yes, and just uh, overarching uh, just point of news. I read the chat. You guys, r typing in caps just makes me grimace while I read your message. Like, just, you don't need caps. Um, <sighs> yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all. Just mm -hmm. to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Yeah, of course Stanley it's worth it. It's coffee. Here, drinking it all in. Can I drink the coffee? That's really what I came in here for. Mackie coming in with the $2 super chat. Should I spoil the plot? LOL, JK, yes. I wouldn't do that. Really, really worth it being here in the <laughs> room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. Yeah, and I'm going to stay here for a little bit longer, narrator. Let's see what else he says. Uh, Damien, welcome to the live stream. At this point, Stanley's obsession with this room bordered on creepy and reflected poorly on his overall personality. <laughs> it's possible that this is why everyone left. <laughs> okay, narrator. Okay, but first I want to look at this one to see if you have anything else to say. Oh, goodness. Stanley That's sat around waiting for more dialogue. <laughs> when a long time had passed and there was no more, he decided that the game was trying to send him a message. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's really funny. Okay, well, he'd had enough of the amazing room. 
the first open door on his left to get back to business. Ah, fuck you, narrator. I do what I want. I do what I want. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible <laughs> he wasn't five years ago. <laughs> oh, that's really funny. Okay, okay, what's out here? What's out here? I don't, yeah, it, like, blocked me into the door. That was weird. Hey, what is this? Do not jump from the cargo lift while it is in motion will cause death. Penalty for misuse, 1,000 penalty for jumping off the cargo lift. You're dead already, so your your family gets to pay $5,000. Okay, um, well, I'm just, uh, <clears throat> Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult. <laughs> what? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for <laughs> others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. I'm in let an office. That I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Unless somebody has some flowers or some shit like that on their desk, there's nothing beautiful in here to find. Okay, we're gonna go through here. Oh, game. Oh, game. Welcome to this game, by the way. It is going to be me giggling wildly throughout the entire time uh, while the narrator just tickles my fancy. Because this is going to be enjoyable. This is going to be a lot of fun. I'm really excited. Now, listen for this. carefully. This is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Well, then why'd you open the blue door, you du- I'm not going to listen <laughs> to you, man. Perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. Sir, sir, I'm gonna need you to cease and desist. Give me a second here, you guys. We got some new people in chat. I want to say hi to. Oh my God, Reed, Job, uh, and or is it Job? Is it Job? I think it would be Job. Actually, I feel bad that I called you Job. You might get that a lot. I'm sorry, Job. <laughs> Welcome to the live stream, you guys. How are you doing today? Uh, white door to the right. Hey, what is this? Eh, eh, eh. It's got a key card on it. Okay. Um I'll go through the red blah, 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 blah. It worked. I still don't think we're communicating properly. <laughs> Stanley walked through the red door. Nah, I'm gonna go through the right, fine, go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road? You I want to discover. Well, don't let me stop you. Good. You see? There's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Do you you sound like- I put a lot of time into that because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Work with me. You give me absolutely nothing so There's far. There's no way for me to talk you to what. you. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design and you can give me some feedback. Okay, go. There we go. A third option. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. Okay, I don't know how much I trust fucking Severus Snape, the narrator. He's so pessimistic, man. Like, I'm just trying to explore out here. Razor Laser, welcome to live stream. Hippie, welcome to the live stream as well. How are you doing today? And Tyler, welcome to live stream. Oh, and uh, Christopher, I don't think I said hi to you either. Welcome to live stream, you guys. How are you doing today? Ian, I can't remember if I said hi to you either, so have a hello yourself. Let's go into the place with more dev to stop you there. No. Tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. Oh, wow. That sounds so enthusiastic. I would say that the most enjoyable part of this experience has been the please rate your experience experience. Uh, so I'm going to give it a 5 out of 5. Uh -huh. Would definitely you experience see, I knew again. I was onto something. Where uh -huh. do these flashes of inspiration come from? Joke's on How you, it's 5 I out of 10. the game needed a third door. Well, it's instinct mostly. A calling in your gut. I really couldn't say where the idea came from, except that I... I felt it in my soul. You can't teach that, Stanley. Don't even try. Yeah, no, you can't. Yeah, gut feelings are just... data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. Uh -huh. Perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. 
Okay. Oh, I thought I was going to get to go through the other door. Do I go through this one? I have so many choices. Worldwide leaderboard. Whoa. Is this real? Holy shit, this is real. Oh, okay. Well, so you got to be top 10. Otherwise, it's just like whatever. And that definitely doesn't have a high refresh rate. Okay, I went through the oh, door on the left. You what the fuck? competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors. Again, honest answers, please. But did the did the leaderboard f make me? Uh, did, well, yeah, but now I don't want to walk through anymore because they're all going to lead back hey, to here. I forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some play testing. Okay. You mind taking a look at it, would you? Uh, no. Sh Let me boot it up. I don't have a choice. You're gonna teleport me, okay? Or you're gonna auto load it on me. I didn't click this exe. Baby crawls left towards danger. Ah. Uh. The button to move him back to the right, and if he reaches the fire, you fail. Oh. It's a very meaningful game. All okay. about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. Parenthood. I think the art world will really take notice. Okay. Course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. Hello, so baby. You give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective. Oh God, are Be you sure kidding to me? Keep notes on your experience. Baby, 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 no! I... Baby, I kind of want to let it go in the fire. I kind of want to let it go in the fire. I got. Oh, I have to take a phone call. Oh, I'm in. I'm in the other room. Oh, I'm. You heartless bastard! Did you do it because you hate babies or purely to spite me? No, I'm because just doing a shorter live stream I today. To do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing. Oni Matt, welcome to live stream. How's it going today, man? I'm welcome to the, the community as well. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. I'm it's out. I'm... Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. What? Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game just to ease the pain? Let's uh. see. What do we have here? Game? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Narrator? Mm -hmm. Yes. No. It seems like it'll work. Let's I don't want it. What is this? Where are we going? What are we doing? Hey! Is this any better? What the Last, fuck? The one thing you've always desired. A game I had absolutely nothing to do with. I can't but jump. Is it enough? Tell me that, Stanley. Will it ever be enough? I can't I jump. Say this. I'm done making things for you. How are but they legally I'm allowed to do this? To fulfill a greater artistic purpose. Watch this, Stanley. I'm going to build a house. Where? <laughs> What? 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 This will go here. Ha! Here. And then. Oh, I want to play Minecraft now. That's a chair. That's not a house. Let's see. What does it need? I. Uh, yes, of course. And just to finish it off. A door. A door. Yes. Yay! It's complete. I made this standing. Look at it. Gaze upon my work of art and feel ashamed at your own inadequacy. You built a dirt ah, hut. But you've only seen it from the outside. You've only gotten half the experience. Please, step inside and make yourself comfortable. This isn't something to be impressed by. You d you dug a hole that has a ceiling. Like, this isn't is not... Grand. Isn't it perfect? It could only be better if... Wait. Sh shut the door. It. We must rebuild it out of diamond. Diamond Wh everything. Yes, yes. Okay. Come along, Stanley. We have to go mining. Yes! This is no no no. I'm I'm total I'm totally down with this. I mining, strip mining, yo, straight up. It's the one thing I like to do in Minecraft. Oh Let's get it down. Looks like it's going to get a bit dark. Have you brought yeah. a light? Nope. Uh but I can make one. Where's the coal? Where's it I can't even jump. I can't even jump. Okay, it's gonna get dark. It's going to get dark and spookified, but we're going no, for it. No, 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 no. This is far more open-ended than I had in mind. Nope. I'm looking for something more narrow and linear. Welcome something to Minecraft. I feel utterly irrelevant. This won't do at all. One out of five. I need to go down here. Even one out of couldn't save this one. Okay, new game. No, I want to keep... No, I didn't. I thought it just went to... <laughs> Damn it. I thought it just went to, 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 to black. Like, I didn't know that I could actually keep going. Oh, my God, man. Holy crap. Best house ever. Yeah, I know, right? I wish he would have closed the door and left me in there. <laughs> yes. I don't even know what this game is, but I love it. 
Uh, you, trapped in a glass box with no way out, listening to me talk. Oh, it's inspired. I could is this Portal? Better myself. What is this game even supposed to be? I can't figure it out. Okay, now I'm curious. Let's go find out what the hell this is. Is this Portal? Aperture? Yeah, this is Portal! I was watching the speedrun of this earlier on uh, SGDQ. Oh, come on, where do I go now? Where do I go? What do I do? Where do I go? Yeah, you've been warned about it more than a few times, Mary. I'll reiterate that. Just be careful with that when uh, when the timeout runs out. Jesse, welcome to live stream. How's it going today? How are you doing? Portal, yep. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Okay, let me see here. Let me see. Uh, we got a button. Okay. It's a puzzle. Yeah. Critical thinking, Stanley. Yeah, I need the box up here. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, critical thinking. Hey, gravity. Ho, ho. Is that it? That's all you're gonna say? Wow, right, okay. You know what? I think that's plenty. I really don't care much to see you stumble through it. Oh god, why did I Oh shit, we're back. Did we fall into the beta? We were accepted into the beta program, everybody. Where do I go now? Where do I go? I go someplace with light. I follow the light. That's what that's what my gaming senses tell me. Follow the Okay, I'm in a hallway. I didn't see a hallway where I was walking, but we're in a hallway now. We'll make it work. We'll make it work. Skill try. Uh, need you to chill out there, buddy. You were in the last live stream. You got banned. You came in with a second account. I told my moderators, yeah, just let him hang out if he behaves and stuff. And uh, yeah, so just just watch it, dude. Justin, welcome to live stream. How's it going today, man? How are you doing? I, I feel like I'm in a different game. It looks like it might be the Stanley Parable, but this looks like wood. It's not like the dev textures. I don't, I don't know. I think I might have... I might have fallen someplace else, possibly? Uh, let me see. Third account now. Yeah, so that, that just goes to tell me that you're straight up a troll. So, um, actually, you know what, Manly? Just go ahead and just, yeah, just do your thing. Because people who have multiple accounts, man, it just, it goes to show straight up that you're just a troll. You're just a troll. That's all you said in the last chat, and that's going to be all I say of you in this stream. Now, 427. Okay, control room of some sort. Some security. I'm clicking things, but it doesn't do a damn thing while I'm in here. Narrator, where did you go? I actually kind of miss you now at this point. I'd like to get you back. I... Okay. I wonder what he found. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. I wonder mm. if he's happy with his choice, and if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. Team General, welcome to live stream. What I was trying to tell him, he needs me. I'm Someone looking around right now. I can't. Up at the end to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. That is what I mean to this world. Oh yes, yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. The end will be here soon. Very soon. I second that, Razor Laser. You guys want to go support them as content creators? Click on their channels and go subscribe. Seriously. KNOW1TV just hit, uh... Is that it? Is that it? That was the end? That was the endage? That was, that's done? It's done? It's over? It's done? I'm back at the beginning! Okay, so that's one of the endings. That's one of the endings. Depending on the paths that you take in this game, you guys, you can get you can get one of any number of endings. Um, I, I really do wonder what would have happened if I stayed on the cargo lift. This time, let's just pay attention to them straight up. Let's just pay attention to the narrator straight up. Delta, no, 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 I know, but it's like I'm back at the, I'm back at the beginning and I can experience it again and I can go through a different path. Um... At least that's the way I understand the game, is you hit an ending, it puts you back in the office, and then you go through the game again, and you can choose whatever you want. And there's like 50 endings or something ridiculous like that. Like the And the possibilities in this game are endless, absolutely endless. Daniel, welcome to live stream as well. Welcome to the live stream. How long have we been live? For a little while, hippie. You've been in for a decent part of it, though. Uh, 30 minutes on my counter. All right. Um, well, let's see here. What's this game about? Jesse, well... This game is about ye co workers were gone. What could it mean? Yeah, exactly. Stanley we're back at the beginning. To go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Yep. Okay, so here's what I want to do on this one. I want to pay attention to him from the beginning to the end. 
I don't want to disobey him once. Because I feel like those are the easiest when games. When came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Into the door on his left. So the first time we went through the door on the right, we disobeyed him, did our thing. Today we're going to go through, or the, in this experience, this playthrough, we're going through the one on the left. Okay. Is it going to take me right to the meeting room, maybe? I don't know. Uh, Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. I love how it says, do not alter without consulting the whiteboard manager. That's a whole level of micromanagement that I don't even want to get into. No, I wanted to, oh, I wanted to read that flow diagram, man. Like, I really wanted to read that. Oh, shoot. Thanks, KNOW1TV. Appreciate Coming that. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Upstairs. We will go upstairs. Uh, FYI, uh, you guys, don't even worry about it in the chat, but trolls only feed me in user interaction, and it promotes the stream, so makes me happy. Uh, executive bath. I, I want to see the gold toilet. Let me in here. I mean, okay, all right. Well, it won't let me in there because I apparently have not worked hard enough at this job. This place is like all solid oak. It was just carved out of the center of an Stepping oak tree. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Can you read stuff? Unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him and so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number oh. 845 but of course stanley couldn't possibly have known this yet incredibly by simply <laughs> pushing random buttons <laughs> stanley happened to input the correct code <laughs> that's really funny button. amazing he stepped into the newly opened passageway. Wait, something open? Oh, it's over here. I was like, what? Something opened up? I was waiting for something to happen, like, right in front of me. My pup's dreaming right now. I think it's Nala. Yeah, Nala's dreaming. Uh, let me see here. They sleep all through my streams, you guys. Like, just sleep and dream vividly. I think because of, like, my wild commentary and stuff. They wake up and they're, like, ready to play and go at it and just have a good time. Awesomeness Gamer, welcome to the live stream. How's it going today, man? I don't know if I've ever seen you in the chat before, so welcome to the community. Well, I think I've seen an awesome gamer, but awesomeness, that little extra thing at the end there, I don't think I've seen that one before. Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. Mm -hmm. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think... What's up, Samuel? Welcome to live stream. ...the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. All right, let's see here. You guys, if you want Stanley to stay up to date, the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Uh -huh. Escape. I want to do that one next. Mind Control Facility. I want to go to the escape one next. Let's see what that one is. Cuz you follow the moderator or the the uh, the narrator the entire time. Do I really want to see what's in here? I feel like I'm in the big room from X-Men, you know. Okay, the lights turn rose on Woo! an enormous room packed with television screens. Oh. What horrible secret did this place hold? Uh, thought to himself, Monday Night Football. Did he have the strength to find out? Am I going this way? Okay, this way. Are there more lights, or is this how I turn the TVs on? Possibly, maybe. Peggy, welcome to live stream. How's it going today? How are you doing today? Uh, no light. Ah, there we go. Camera. Now Lights! Light. Camera! The true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee Whoa. in the building. Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. Ah. Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Was I one? Wait, oh, over here. It, was I one of them? Or was I? Ah, there I am, right there. I think. I'm pretty sure. I think. Maybe. Hang on. Do this. Okay. This mind control facility, it was too horrible Four. to it couldn't be true. Had what was mine? Been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Hey, is this like a little elevator pod? No. Okay, yeah. No. Whoa! He refused to believe it. He Willy Wonka style, straight through the roof? His own life 
in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it bad. impossible? I like this. Truly spent his oh, wait, entire here. life utterly here. blind to the world. Uh, that's a little dramatic, but yeah, that's kind of what a job. The of the operation. Uh -huh. Controls labeled with emotions: happy or sad or content, walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Um... This is like a movie. Where something is just controlling everybody, and now I'm I'm like Will Smith or Mark Wahlberg, and I just gotta go in here. Sta Sta Stanley Tucci, that's that's the that's the real hero. Stanley Tucci. Okay, let me see here. Uh, where's the big button? Big red self-destruct button. Facility power. Let's go unplug it. Mind controls idle. Awaiting input. Oh, I'm I am on my way. I'll give you some input. What's up, Caleb? Welcome to live stream. How are you and doing today? Last, he found the source Take care, Justin. Power. He knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Yeah. Here we go. Fight club. Fight the system. That's it, right? That's it. Back in the office. I'm going to get some crazy Metal Gear Solid cutscene with, like, ridiculous cinematics and... And a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? No, because I'm moving the mouse and I see things moving. Yes. Uh -huh. He had won. He had defeated the machine. I and did he it! tackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay. I think. Unsolved. I think that might have been a connection issue on on his end, Manly. If it was multiple messages and he's lagging. What other mysteries did this strange building hold? Might just be his phone trying to trying to do that. He realized none of this mattered to him. Uh huh. It was not knowledge or even power. What's up, hello, Ciro? Welcome to live stream. But happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do. Or how to feel. Ah! Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was perhaps the only thing worth knowing. Hmm. Stanley stepped through the open door. Nah, fuck you, narrator. I'm going back this way. What's back here? Is there anything I can I can fuck with back here? Anything? No, okay. Alright, I'll go outside, I guess. You close the door behind me. I didn't want to do this ending yet because I feel like this Old is the Danny good one. Felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. Stanley was now Stanley in Zelda: Breath of the Wild. Stanley is happy! Yay! I think that was the good ending. I think that was like the. What was supposed to be the feel good you beat the game sort of ending? Like you follow the narrator pretty much all the way through, do the things that he wants you to do, and he actually does end up showing you something really beautiful. That was pretty cool. That was really really cool. Um. Okay. So now, uh, let me see here. All his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Mm. Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but mm -hmm. it didn't make a single difference. Mm -hmm. Nor did it advance the story in any way. Shut up, narrator. I'm gonna find something. You just watch. Hey! Okay, I think he turned that one off. Because I probably could have done something with that. Uh, let me see here. Input receipt. Input receipt. Oh, uh, nothing? No? No, no, no? Okay. There's gotta be something around here. Narrator, are you gonna bitch at me anymore? Maybe give me a hint. Oh, hey, I can close that. Didn't realize that. Coffee got knocked over. That's that's kind of unsanitary. No, let's open the door now. Nothing over there. Uh, take care, Ebenezer. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, okay, can't open these. Uh, 
Can't open these. I can't. I thought there was like rooms I could go into. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, uh -huh. he entered the door on his left. Okay, You're over on this, this one. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. I'm assuming it's Skiltra Homicide. I'm guessing that's who you are. I'm assuming. I'm guessing. I'm kind of jumping wow. to a conclusion, but I think yes. that's who it is. This room. What a beautiful room. What a gorgeous... Gorgeous room. Okay, narrator, enough of your shit. I know what's going on here. I know what's going on. I don't need to hear you. Uh, no. I want to keep going this way. And we are going to ride. Can I get in here? No. I. There's no doors that I can open. That's the one thing I wanted to see. Was it? Could I jump? Could I jump uh, into any other rooms that weren't necessarily obviously open to me? Uh, something like that. Peggy, my day is going great. Looks my day is going I great. And uh, left escape hallway. I'm not your enemy, really. I'm not. I should have gone to the left, shouldn't have I, Ant? Trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. Okay, so I went down to that one last time. Someone you forgot. Take care, Peggy. You got golfing. Stop trying to make well, have a great time, Peggy. Yourself. Now I'm not asking for me. All right. Um, Stanley, your chance to redeem yourself, to put your work aside, to let her back into your life. She's been waiting. Are you? Who is this? Who the hell is this guy talking about? Like, does he not? Do I have a wife and does he know her? Is that what's going on here? Uh oh. Uh oh. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. Place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. What the fuck kind of bulb is that, man? That thing is bright. Ah, oh, God. Ow. It's a reflective ass phone once you take it off. Holy crap. Well, you're still around, Homicide, so I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure you're okay. Yeah. Hold on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. It's all good. You guys, just every. This is me saying to everybody okay, drop it. If it's important to somebody to be around here, then give them a chance. That's what I've been. Whoa! Put some clothes on, lady. Uh, oh come on! Did you actually think you had a loving wife who'd want to commit their life to you? I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come inside. What's that? Let me In show there? You what's really going on here. I would like for you to dress up a little bit more, please. Um, indecent exposure, much? Oh God. Don't this roofie is a me. Very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. No! Good morning, employee 427. Press 8 on your keyboard. You're just lucky that isn't a shortcut for my streams. I'll do it. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him, and every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. Uh Please press F. What, to pay respects? Am I about to die? Look at him there, pushing buttons, doing exactly what he's told to do. Mm -hmm. Now he's pushing a button. Now he's eating lunch. Now he's going home. Now he's coming back to work. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. I've done crazy shit in Assassin's Creed in Max Payne, and in this game, I cannot leave the ground. I... In his mind, ah. In his mind, he can go on fantastic adventures. It's like Rainbow Six Siege. It makes me claustrophobic. Death, Stanley eh. dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown. Fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. Press Q to watch TV. Please press Q. And so okay. he began to fantasize about his own job. First, he imagined that one day while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. The thought excited him terribly. To the point of, please press 9 to spend some time with the boys. You are not one of the boys. I can guarantee I'm getting a lot of visual information from you right now. He came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last choice 
It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. Okay. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. Uh, okay, please press one to prepare dinner. As he wandered through this what? fantasy world, he began to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. You dick, you're putting Down me back in my office. An enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. And down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. And down another was a game with a baby. Let me out of here! And he called it the Stanley Parable. Ah! Oh, please press X to tell your kids a story. What the hell? It was such a wonderful fantasy. And so in his head, he relived it again. And then again. And again. Over and over. Wishing beyond hope that it would never end. That he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. Please press Z to tell your wife you love her. There is no other living being in this room except for maybe the electricity running through the light bulbs. That's closer than you are, mannequin. But there is no answer. Oh, How could God. there possibly be? In reality, all he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. Nothing's no. Nothing's changed. No. The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets. I don't the push eight that often. Which life is the real one? Press U to go to sleep. I don't use U that often either. And I'm trying to tell him this. That in this world, he can never be anything but an observer. That as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. But he won't listen to me. He as long as he- you blocked the door and took the kitchen away! The next time the screen asks you to push a button, yeah. do not do it. Yeah. Um. Uh. <clears throat> um. Uh. Now what? Uh, how's it going, chat? How are you doing today? David, welcome to the live stream. How are you doing? Holy crap. Push it and see what happens. Not a bad idea, Ant. Not a bad idea. Bloke, welcome to the live stream as well. It's good to see you, man. Almost missed your message. Uh, you see? Can he just not hear me? No. How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? Press 2 to question. <laughs> As something that I actively avoid in daily life. Let's press 2 to question nothing. I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose, the same as Stanley. Well, Goodness. It's so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. Uh, I'm compelled to. Mm -hmm. I must. Not. Nah. Perhaps. Well, maybe this time he'll see. Maybe this time. Narrator. I tried again. Please die. And Stanley what? pushed a button. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried. <laughs> 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 Alrighty! Well, there's an ending, Mr. Lucifer while gonna live stream. How's it going today? Holy crap, man, a grenade would have been useful here. I know, right? That's a good method to have on site. Hello, care, welcome to the live stream. How are you doing today? Oh goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um somebody tell me. There's a Is it down? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Do I go through the red door? And then that's what gives me more little options? Jump out that window. What window? What window? This window? No right matter here? how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. In this room. I'm trying. Every button possible. Nothing, nothing will let, nothing will let me jump. No, nothing. I try. Uh, there's got to be a way to do it. Hang on. Can I? Can I pick up something? And then bring it over. Oh come on! I was picking up stuff Standing in the portal game. Around, touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference. No. Need to get on the desk. Oh. How do I get on the desk? Um. 
How do I? Oh, uh huh. Can I do it on the chair? Right side of the room. Right side of the room. Right side over here. Is this? Well, I'm like spinning around so fucking much that like I don't know I don't know which which right is the is the correct right. Uh, yeah, because I don't see any ramps to get up there. I think I can. How about we follow the net? You just missed it, bloke. I just went through that uh, ending. He did that yet. Yeah. He's not my supervisor. <laughs> um, Delta, I know uh, it might be the wrong room. Okay. Oh! Eh! How did I do it? Ah! Hey. Hey. Okay, maybe I can do it over here then. Maybe, maybe over here. No, I gotta do it from. I gotta do it from this other one over here because the chair is out. Okay, okay. Oh, oh, oh. See, the problem is that I just can't get over the cubicle. Can I? Oh, 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 Wait, what? At first, Stanley assumed he'd broken the map. And what? Then he heard this narration and realized it was part of the game's design all along. Ah! Uh. Then praised the game for its insightful and witty commentary <laughs> into the nature of video game structure and its examination of structural narrative. <laughs> so, now that you're here, what do you think? Isn't this a fun and unique place to be? <laughs> yeah! Take a minute just to drink it all in. Woo! Okay, I'm over it now. What, what a great you, time! Are you sick of this gag yet? Uh, are you sick of this gag yet? Yeah, of course well, I am. Well, I don't know how to say this politely, but you could literally just hit escape and restart the game any old time you want. Like, oh. right now. Oh. You could have done it just then. Now would also be an appropriate time to... Now would also be... ...of these points and so many, many more, all <laughs> of them are appropriate. I'm enjoying oh. what seems to be an internal conflict going on where you are literally unable to act on your <laughs> own desires to restart the game. So just to push the envelope, I'm going to try and make this as miserable as possible and see how long you can maintain. Let's kick it with the narrator a little bit. Wait, what? There once was a man named Stanley <laughs> who people considered so manly. <laughs> but the truth must be told... He was not very old and was quite particularly gangly. Hey! What Danny liked most was buttons. He pushed them like some kind of glutton. Motherfucker, you're getting personal here. All day, in a meaningful way, but his brain had long ceased to function. Yeah, well, you have bad breath. You're talking to me this whole time and you can't even take a tic tac. And lives an existence quite terrible. <sighs> and if you are not strong, and keep playing along, you too will become quite unbearable. He can play the guitar, I'll give him that. You Poorly. Will become quite unbearable. Well. That. Is that the end of his song? That we just play his guitar? assume that he just starts yelling at me again here in a second. Okay, let's wait for the end. Okay, there it is. He's still playing. I want to know if he's going to talk to me again. I'll give it this last phrase. Just if it doesn't happen after this one. Okay, here we go. Ah! Nope, nope. Alright, begin the game again. One more time, you guys. Let's see what we can do. We'll go through the red door this time. And a soft wind blew out No, we'll go through the escape. Started, and if it did, it stopped shortly after. Stanley hoped that he would one day see weather. Stanley hoped that he would one day see weather. I love this game. I love this game. The dialogue is as good as when Breaking Stanley Bad. came to a set of two open doors. He entered the door on his left. Okay, I just needed to make sure. I just needed to make sure right there. Um, now I believe we're at the meeting room. Okay, we got to yep, talk to the whiteboard manager. Here either. Tips for not getting fired. Talk less. Oh, I'm fired already. Don't get fired. I'm already fired. Office, 
hoping he might find an answer there. Okay, going up the stairs. Coming going up the Stanley's, stairs. Going Stanley up the stairs. Up going up the stairs. To his boss's office. Into the oak carved room with oak flooring and. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. What could it mean? Is that Stanley what it was? wondered aloud no. to nobody. He began wildly tearing through papers on the boss's desk, pulling books off the shelf, looking behind paintings, desperate for clues to his situation. But his attention was caught by a keypad behind the boss's desk. What could its purpose be? Can you wrap it up? In fact, this keypad guarded the terrible secret that lay buried below his feet. And so the boss had a I can't see my feet. extra secret pin number. 2845. Ah, oh, so course, close, man. Fucking. By simply pushing random buttons on the keypad. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. All right, let's get down here and we'll take the escape hallway. Let's find out what this is. Oh my goodness. I think I've been done, I think I've done like five or something like that. The broom closet is going to be a fun one. Broom closet is going to be a fun one. I think I'll end the next stream with the broom closet. I have heard about that one, Delta. That is, that's the, here I'll pause. That's the one that told me that the game was flexible and comedic and there were just a lot of things that you could do in the game and that and when i found out about the broom closet that's when i was like okay i need to play this game on my own absolutely someday so back to where we are which is uh Stanley walked straight ahead the mind control the facility the red mind control yeah, facility. no i didn't no i didn't i went through the one well, that said escape way had the word escape written on it the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. Oh, it's like it's Outlast. <laughs> the door behind right him away. was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. Oh, I'm sure. I'm at this sure. Point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and yep. willingly confront his death. Yep, let's do this. Here we go. Down here? That's a long way back, like... I mean... Green pastures... But a long walk. I, I think I'm okay over here. Whee! Is that the end? Was that the end? Okay, good! Hey, there we go! That's what I'm talking about! future possibilities choose your own ending As you hit 6k yeah i did a little while ago and stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise he reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever uh oh stanley can't see the future he doesn't know the real story no! ever in his narrow vision of what this is i cannot his jump death was of no great loss <laughs> So he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. Therefore, Stanley. Jump out out of the pathway down below! Jump out! No! Farewell, Stanley, cried no. the narrator. Open the Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. Wait, what the fuck happened In a to the single visceral instant? Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body. Killing him instantly. <gasps> yeah, that's what I thought was gonna happen. Cause see, there was like a little flap on the bottom, and the, and then this catwalk. It. That's. That's. I don't know. You can't teach that, you guys. It's called gut reaction, Stanley Parable. I'm dead. I'm totally dead right now. Yep, the red is a metaphor for my blood, and it's splattered all over the catwalk. I'm dead right now. Stanley Parable. And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his <laughs> office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? Ah. Uh... When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? What? Where's my office? Here it is! 
There's a window I jumped out of. Office layout. This blueprint shows the office from the beginning of the game. The path from Stanley's office uh, to the two doors was the first part of the game that was built. Sections have been added and altered throughout the development through the core layout, uh, though the core layout remains almost identical to the first iteration. Interesting. So they kept the they kept the start the same. It's like a museum, I guess, the making of corridor. The pacing of this opening. Oh, by the way, uh, Toby, welcome to the live stream. And I think that might be. It's all good, David. No worries, man. Uh, I think that might be it. Yeah, I think that might be it. Uh, let me see here. Pacing of this opening section was important to get right. The corridor had been moved and altered to make sure the player reaches the two doors in a good time. Okay, so I'm assuming they had to time that with the narrator. Uh, the two doors, the set of two open doors, uh, two open doors was the very first concrete pa uh, piece of the Stanley Parables design. Once this room was created, the rest of the game emerged as an extension of it, an exploration of the contradiction this room posed. Interesting. So that, uh, that singular concept is what the rest of the game stemmed off of. And that's usually how it goes like in the creative process most door are not most doors most songs that you guys hear are usually created off of one idea a title a drum beat a bass line something like that and then the whole, the rest of it just kind of comes uh, I think Delta might even argue that art is uh, in the same sort of aspect where once you get a certain foundational aspect of it everything else just stems out from that um, and uh, I know a lot of people have different mindsets though so that's not the only way you can do it but that's really interesting that they did it this way Devin and welcome to the live stream. Uh, this was such a good game. Best walking simulator of all time. I am enjoying the hell out of it, Devin. I've only done um, six endings, I think, maybe, at most. Five... Five, probably. Lowest four. Uh, button sounds. A selection of the sounds used throughout the game. When buttons are pressed, each sound is a mix of a keyboard stroke and a synthesized tone. Ooh. Hey, that was satisfying. We're gonna need some Purell after that for how many people have walked through here. Filing cabinets. Thanks, game. Appreciate that. Office computers. You're great. And there's the credits. Ladies and gentlemen, I do believe that uh, this is... This is... Uh, there's... <laughs> I don't even know how to explain it. Some of the endings really feel like they're the real endings, you know? But the one that felt like the most natural ending uh, was us going out onto the prairie field. Maintenance room. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this is just, like, basically a big-ass museum, I think, of everything that's going on. September 2012, we submitted the Stanley Parable to Greenlight, Valve's process of approving games for Steam. The Greenlight page only uh, had only a series of cryptic photos, which were still enough to win the community's approval. Interesting. That must be... That must be... Yeah, I think that must be what the, what the cryptic images that they were talking about were. I keep thinking I hear footsteps or something like that, but I think I might be wrong. I think it's just I think it's just mine, dude. Like some weird echoings. Game design mock up. God, this is awesome. They just put a big ass museum out here. You can enjoy. After Stanley gets turned into flat Stanley, pretty much. Wait, what? Countdown desk. One of the desk in the version of countdown. I don't know what the countdown ending is. No spoilers. Thanks for turning it off. <laughs> I bet you that's actually why they turned it off. Is because I haven't done that ending yet. Uh, monitor room elevator. Alrighty, let's go back out here. <laughs> oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. Do I need to flip the switch? I'll flip it. Okay, I flipped it. Game's over. See? Can you see how much they need one another? I'm rotating the mouse. I don't no, see anything. Perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. Uh, okay. You can still save these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now and it'll be your only true choice. Whatever you do, choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let... I think that's going to have to do it for today's live stream, you guys. That is such a good game. Oh, my God. And the reason why I paused it there is because she's telling me to quit the game and stop it right there. Well, you know what? Actually, I kind of want to see what happens. I kind of want to see what happens. Time. <laughs> <laughs> That was too good. That was too good. Oh my god. That was too good. I wanted to see what happened. I wanted to see what happened. Hopefully the game doesn't crash. Hopefully it takes me back to the office. It like renders the game corrupt now. Stanley is dead forever and ever and ever. Cliffhanger. I know, right? Oh, so good, man. So good. Yeah, I'm not getting... 
I'm not getting anything. Can I even pause the game right now? Yeah. I can pause the game. I'm stuck here. I'm dead. That's it. That's, oh my God, that's hilarious. It won't take me back to the office because Stanley actually dies in that ending. Holy crap, that's ridiculous. I love this game, you guys. As you can see, there are gonna be multiple endings and all kinds of crazy, awesome stuff. I don't know what else to expect. I don't even really know where else I should go. So, if you guys have enjoyed this stream, then I do encourage you uh, to uh, uh, to hang out for the uh, for the next one, or, or look out for the next one, rather, because this game is very fast-paced, and if you miss 10 minutes of it, well, you missed a whole entire experience, you know. I will make sure to publish the size uh, when I am gonna play this thank you guys so much for the support on it uh, let me see if I can I think I actually need to hang on okay hopefully I don't crash the street I think the overlays up overlays up right yeah the overlays up okay um, okay good yeah nothing happened nothing bad happened when I tabbed out um, but uh, yeah you guys thank you so much for supporting this this game is older it's from 2013 I think something like that uh, so it is a little bit older um, and, uh, and I didn't know what to expect. I knew I wanted to buy it, I knew I wanted to try it, and I knew that if it wasn't well received that I would play it on my own. Um, and the fact that you guys supported it, you hung out, um, you are engaging in the chat, it was so fun. Just so much fucking fun to play this for you guys. I can't wait until the next time I do it. For those of you guys that missed the end of the last live stream yesterday, I will be bringing changes to the channel next week. I'm gonna give more opportunities for people to catch me in live streams, um, and this shorter live stream format will help me do that. Today was also a test of that as well. Uh, so thanks to everybody that was here. I am going to be hopping over onto Twitch almost, Im well, I wouldn't say almost immediately. I think I need to go get a couple things done really quick, but I will be hopping over onto Twitch. I'm going to be swapping around a couple games and then later tonight starting around, I would say, 9 p.m. standard, or 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, I think that'll be when I'll guaranteed be live uh, with some DOJ stuff for you guys later tonight. So that's going to be a blast. Uh, Islands of Nine is doing their uh, their open alpha or whatever, so I'm going to check the NDA, and if that's playable, then I'm going to play that. Uh, and a new hero launched today on Overwatch, on the PTR. His name's Doomfist, and he's fucking awesome. He is the coolest damn thing. So we're going to have a good time over on Twitch. Uh, if you guys check the links in the description down below, you will be able to find that link to the Twitch. Also, KNOW1TV has posted it in the chat. You guys can also find links to my Twitter, where I post when and where I'm going live. And I'm usually not that crazy about retweets or any other random tweets. So you can turn on notifications. I won't blow your phone up. If you want to see what I look like, what my dogs look like, what my music sounds like, or anything like that, you can go to my Instagram. Instagram, check me out over there uh, and also in the description down below you can find a link to the discord it's a great place to get to know me the members of the community the moderators anybody else that is in that discord it's essentially like a privatized forum um, and uh, it's got voice chat enabled as well so you can uh, you can talk with your friends and all that jazz it's a great place to be also get supplemental uh, supplemental notifications as well in case YouTube doesn't notify you when you go live or anything like that but either way you guys I hope you had a lot of fun today I had a blast I can't wait until next week but first and foremost I will see you guys later tonight and tomorrow with your usual stream. So friends, if you enjoy what you see, and only if, leave a little love in the comment section or leave a like and subscribe so you don't miss the rest of whatever the hell comes next. And as usual, enjoy the rest of your day, evening, noon, night, whatever the hell it is, wherever the hell you are, and I will see you guys again.